um, and determining the success of the game. Defense did a great job. Um, we were moving the ball on offense. Uh, I still think there's some plays out there that could be made, but um, you know, on the whole, it's a good, good job, good job by the entire team. When your defense is getting turnovers at the rate they are, does it put any more pressure on you not to turn the ball over? Are you thinking in terms of it's just let's make sure we cash in on some of these? Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I'm not thinking about that too much. You're just going out each play trying to do your job. So, you know, game situations change. You're going to play a little different when you're playing with a lead. Um, and, and you play with the lead when the defense makes that many turnovers. Uh, but that's the only thing that you know, can change because of that. Um, other than that, I'm going out every play, whatever they call them, trying to do my job. Also a short field, though. I mean, you know, a couple of drives. Yeah, no doubt. Whenever you get a short field, you want to capitalize. Um, so I think we got points off turnovers every time, um, which is really good for our offense. Um, and that's what we want to do. Based on last year failing on some of those third and ones, fourth and one. Were those a little bit of extra points of pride converting? Yeah, those? yeah. We wanted to come out and be, you know, a tough team. Um, and, you know, those downs are big um, to kind of show that toughness. So you know, we have a bunch of respect for BC, though. They, you know, they're a tough team, a great defense. Um, um, but we did a good job today. The offensive line did a great job in those situations. The backs did a great job. Did you feel like you weren't a tough team last year in this game, in the game against them? No, I wouldn't say that either. Um, there was just times, uh, you know, the difference in the game last year at times. You know, it was we turned the ball over, I think, twice, and mm -hmm. uh, we didn't convert a lot of those third and fourth downs. As a senior, can you think back to what it was like as a freshman? I mean, they have a freshman out there, and he made some mistakes, and, you know, he may learn and stuff. Can you think of what it was like for you and, you know, how you need to grow from it? Right, yeah. Um, it's tough playing as a freshman. Uh, there's no doubt about it. The amount of looks you see, um, you know, the amount of focus it takes to be successful at this level. Um, but it's tough. The biggest thing is you got to try and come back each week um, and you know not let it get to you. Um, you got to keep pushing when times are hard, and it'll make you a tougher player down the road. The flight was delayed like four hours yesterday. How much did that change the routine and preparation yesterday? And how did you guys kind of overcome that and get everything done? Yeah, we what we did is normally we meet up here, but we did some of our meetings down in Winston Salem. So well, we were, we weren't just sitting there idle. Um, we pushed some of those meetings up, so when we got here, we only had you know, 45 minutes worth of meetings. We were in the room by, by 9.30. Dinner changed, that was about it. I think we have a mature group, so stuff like that shouldn't phase it too much. I think Landry got to once, and you got sacked one other time apparently, but it looked like your offensive line kept you pretty clean, other than the design runs. Right. How much of a factor was that? Oh, it was a huge factor. I think uh, you know going in, they have two great DNs. They had a great D-line. Um, they get after the quarterback, so anytime you know, your offensive line plays like that, um, a, it makes me more comfortable in the pocket, gives me time to see receivers down the field. Um, and, you know, they also did a great job running the football, so when you do that, it makes it hard for a defense to get in a pass rush more than I can't remember if you guys ended up putting putting points on the board this particular drive, but you was going driving down that way, you was facing like a third and six, and you scrambled out to the right. Defender came up on you, and you dumped off to Greg Dorch. What were you? Do you remember that play? And do yeah. you do you remember what you were seeing there, and and how that kind of break down for you? Yeah, I think it was uh, zone read. So I want to say I pulled it, um, and the defender came off Greg. So that's part of the play. Um, so anytime you know, sometimes you got to shape that throw there. It wasn't too hard. Um, and anytime they're going to leave Greg in space, I'm going to try and give him the ball. It's only been two weeks, but I guess you can count on seeing something new from Greg every week here. He's he's now the first player in Wake history, first freshman to have touchdown catches in both of his first two games. Yeah, I think uh, you know the big thing for Greg is he has to realize he has to keep improving. Um, obviously, he has a ton of talent. Um, he's a competitor. He's a gamer. All the things you want to see in a young guy, he's got. Um, but the hardest part about college football playing as a, as a young guy is the week-to-week -week grind of it, the week-to-week -week preparation that it takes to be successful. Um, so, uh, you know, as a team, we're going to push him to do that. I think he's um, self-motivated, so he's going to want to do that. So, you know, that's his, his, uh, his next step. Cam Cerny's consecutive pass-catch streak ended today at 37 games. You found him once, but didn't, you know, you didn't catch the ball. In the, any any, uh, any thoughts about Cam's streak going down in the... Yeah, there was a few times we were looking for him. I think we had penalties on those plays. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of times today we were running outside zone. Um, There's times where he was in pass protection because of their D-line. So, yeah. you know, we like to get him the ball more, but uh, 
I'm sure, you know, it's just a streak. Cam probably wanted the streak, but um, I mean, what he wants most is for us to win, and, and uh, that's definitely the important thing. Good.